Hello student, this file is provided to show you how you can uh, carry out your assignment and this is assignment for this module intelligence business information system so you have to do two parts in this assignment before going further at first please just use this template and again i'll give you some explanation how to use that first of all you have to just change the these parts this is a, just double click on this part and uh, write your student number student name something like that so you have to insert your title here your uh, you know any title that you want and uh, actually you have to just delete these parts and write your own sentence here and for the part a you can add some uh, you know subsection to the part a so once you wanted to add a new subsection for example this is subsection one and once you wanted to add new subsection here just uh, write subsection subsection two and come here home and just use the second headings so when you just select this and use this heading it will add it here and if you can just easily update this part by right click on this here and select update field and select the second one update entire table and you can see that subsection 2 is added to the table of content so it is easy uh, to use and once you add something here add a text once you add uh, some add a text here just make sure that uh, the style you are using for this text is uh, normal so this is a, a general uh, you know guidelines on how to how you use this uh, file so I, I think that it would be useful for you and uh, just use that that's fine so let's get back to summative assessment of this file as you may know uh, you have a, you have to discuss two parts the first part is uh, related to uh, you have to just bring some negative and positive point of moving to our enterprise level and uh, just read this part carefully so you have to provide a critical review of relevant literature and this is quite important and you have also this case study that provided in this uh, part for your support your idea so the point is that you have to use some uh, valuable keywords you have to use some important keywords in this regard you can use any keywords but i suggest you to use some of these keywords and for the part a all of these keywords would be uh, you know useful for you and just bear in mind if you say something about for example security performance or success or failure success or project manager anything that you mentioned here you have to support with the case study so i provide you a case study a specific case study here this is a national wide insurance uh, case study of using bi business intelligence so if you want to use this case study just support anything you said here for example if you say something about uh, integrated customer knowledge or uh, customer or something like that if you just find something about this in the literature and provide some critical point in this regard you can support that with these parts uh, or if you have a uh, you know negative and positive point for financial operation of ERP you can use this part and other things it be something like that okay you can also use own case study so this is not only case study you can use that for example if you find a case study that related to the for example you know uh, uh, user adoption and this user adoption it is not mentioned in this our case study you can use own case study or you may have some uh, problem to you know moving forward ERP you have some problem with vendor selection and it if it is not mentioned in this case study you 
can use own case studies. So that's up to you. And this is just some suggested keywords and you can use in your research. For example, uh, I just copy this keywords and come to here in Google Scholar. This is my favorite website and search that and you know you can find many 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 valuable information so you can use all of this and just open that and just read it carefully and provide some critical review okay so the point is that you have to just provide critical review so you sometimes you have to uh, you know say what the negative and what the positive points of this case study and something like that so just moving forward uh, this is the first part so for any things that you provided in part a you have to support it with the case study and you have to provide a critical uh, review and uh, for the second part i have also uh, provide you some uh, valuable keyword you can use this keyword and you can also use the other keyword just so read this part carefully and you have to provide some explanation about sales and distribution module this module is taught in the our workshop so this module you have to know that you all of you you have uh, uh, all of you you work with this module so it uh, i i sure that you know this module so Everything that you provided here would be related to this module, sales and distribution module. So at first, you have to say that what the specifications of material masters in SAP ERP that related to this module. And I provide you some valuable keywords here. Material master specification in SAP ERP or material search in SAP ERP, complexity of material master in SAP ERP. So you can use all of the, these uh, valuable keywords and just copy that and just get back to the Google Scholar and you can find many, many valuable information here. Okay. And for the second part, you have to just compare SAP for HANA and SAP ERP for different things in master data. Okay. Just read it carefully. Discuss how SAP for you know is different from previous version, and explain different capability, more especially in this module. Okay, this is uh, what you have to mention in your assignment. Make sure that uh, that you have a wall limit in your assignment, and something more. You have uh, some uh, general guidelines. So for part A. You have to address relevant literature in this regard and you have to refer the case study this case study or own case study is up to you and for part B you have to answer to these questions okay make sure that you have to use this kind of referencing and avoid academic misconduct and there are a lot of valuable information that how we uh, you know assess you so this is a general this is a general guideline that help you to carry out your assignment i will add all of these keywords in the description file if you have any question just feel free and let me know thank you so much see you